aging face that this world has forgotten. Ooh, what is up, guys? Then, of course, welcome to another episode of Who Was Really Better? And also, a special thank you to Greg or the Chicago Yours Ring for, of course, recommending this matchup. So comparing these two was definitely not an easy task. It has mainly to do with these two Pokemons actually are mirrored. I definitely haven't really looked into it too much until I actually made this comparison. These guys have the same base total of 500, so of course Scyther and Scissor, but they pretty much learn the same types of move and seems to have the same kind of way we're going about it. Hell, even when of course the next generation, Generation 5 of course, when a hidden ability was introduced, they got the same hidden abilities. It kind of just kept building onto that. Now they do differentiate a little bit and that's what I was going to focus on. But before we even go into this, let's of course look at their overall stats, abilities and resistances and weaknesses. And when I say mirrored, I really mean mirrored. Look at this. Pinsir and Heracross, the differentiation of course in HP, we know of course Heracross has more with 80 over 65. Same attack, Pinsir more defensively invested. Oh, and have more special attack, yay! <laughs> and then, of course, Heracross has more special defense, and then this year, of course, 85 base speed. It's kind of up there. It's definitely kind of up there. While Heracross would have the overall more HP, I would say that Pinsir has overall better bulk and what called than defensive hits. So it's very, very close to you know, what their defensive capabilities are able to do. So you get it with, of course, same speed, same attack. That's Kind of, kind of weird, <laughs> not gonna lie. What do separate them though is that of course that Spinster is a soul bug type. So it resists of course fighting grass and ground and are weak to fire, flying rock. While those resistances kind of stick with Heracross being of course a fighting type too, it also gets two more weaknesses being, or resistances being of course dark and bug. Yes, bug do not resist bug. That's it's kind of the same thing with rock. Rock do not resist rock. Never, never understand that that really properly. But due to of course its new typing, it also loses its weaknesses to rocks, making it of course a neutral hit. Though it get two new weaknesses over fire, and that is fairy and psychic and the flying weaknesses. That of course it's just in general bug typing now is four times weak. Which meant that Talonflame actually feasted on this very corpse of this Pokemon for quite some time. Hopefully that changed a little bit now, of course, with the new generation. Then again, Talonflame still is 122 base speed, so well, let's not go there. Let's not go there. But outside of that, of course, the abilities is what differentiate these two Pokemon a little bit too. They do share, of course, Moxie as their hidden ability. But outside of that, Hyper Cutter and Mold Breaker is what Pinsir get as of course your aggressive get swarms and guts. Now going over that a little bit, Hyper Cutter not the best type of ability for Pinsir. While it is a good ability if you expect the Intimidator, it's not a game changer. But Mold Breaker, yeah. That's a big deal and a, a lot of big deal actually. Uh, Heracross though has of course Guts and Swarm. Guts is a very very good one, Swarm not so much. Guts of course makes sure that you can soak uh, and status such of course poison, burn, or of course the promotions and souls of glorious paralyzation and get of course a fitters and boost your attack, which is awesome. Clearly that's something you want to do and with this high special defense it's very likely that Heracross can you know, actually soak a skull, get the burn and become a very very ferocious Pokemon. Having that said, uh, the reason I kind of want to mention Mold Breakers is because these guys share the type of moves they can learn. They can both learn knockoff, both learn of course close combat and of course um, while Heracross has Mega Horn, a, a Pinsir do get a Sister. So there are a lot of things here that they do share, but one thing Pinsir has is that it can learn Stealth Rocks. And it's the only Pokemon, as far as I am aware of, that can actually set up rocks against a Magic Guard or Magic Bouncer. That means that Pinsir will always be able to set up rocks against, of course, any Pokemon with Magic Bounce. That is kind of cool. It's definitely one of the biggest perks Pinsir gets or have. Uh, against Heracross, mainly because it's just makes this Pokemon a bit broader than what it can do. Then it is, of course, a Moxie Sweeper. It can use be Scarfed and, of course, spam it every move that it gets. But outside of that, one has to look at, of course, Heracross and what it can do. Guts, as stated here, makes you soak, of course, any status. That's a big deal for a lot of matchups. But then we have, of course, the extra typing. 
and then of course the stronger stabs. And this all kind of boils down to that if there are support, supposed to be of course superb wall breakers, then having that extra power that Heracross simply brings due to course the extra of course typing, but also of course, I'm really going to say this enough, power to its stabs then Heracross has to be considered a better, and it's actually kind of bittersweet for me of saying so, mainly because there are only so many things you can't really distinguish between these two Pokemon that clearly the other one does better. Pinsir having Stealth Rocks, having able to set up Mold Breaker Stealth Rock, it's a big deal, it's a very big deal. I do believe that makes Pinsir a lot better than Heracross in most situations. It's superb Stealth Rocket, it's probably one of the best in the game due to that very reason alone. But if one had to look at the Heracross and it's able to, of course, what it's able to do, then of course not being weak to rocks, we clearly are a factor. Um, I won't say that Pinsir's weakness to rocks is a factor for it losing this melee because it's not a recall mount, so I don't believe the extra losses of HP it gets are such a big deal. And um, the reason for Heracross to actually become better is that it just hurts that much harder every time it's in. Both, of course, it represents the 85 base speed. They have a lot of pressure naturally onto it, but only one of them can hurt so much more. And Heracross is that mon. And yeah, that's pretty much a rundown. Like I said here, I, I definitely would see these two Pokemon as, you know, on even ground most of the time, but. It just comes down to that it just hurting so much more that Heracross do naturally makes it that much better. And that's the reason it's used so much more than Pinsir. Um, having that said though, you know, they got each other of course one of each Mega Evolution. And I would say that the Mega Evolution that Pinsir got was clearly a lot better than what Heracross got. So the justice was served. But it was very interesting comparing these two. Mainly because, like I said, they are really similar. Like... I'm, I'm not sure the Game Freak had any mind when they made these two Pokemon, but they are doing the same freaking stuff, just the other one doing it a lot harder and a lot tougher. But with that said, guys, what are your thoughts on these Pokemon? I know this video is very short, and for that I'm actually sorry. Like I said, Pokemons are similar, then you, you don't want to kind of repeat yourself more than you need to and just focus on what to differentiate them. So, um, which one do you think of a stronger one? And, uh, of course, leave a suggestion which Pokemon do you want to see compared against one other. So with that said guys, thank you of course so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Until then of course, take care. Bye.